Alright, so Sabi, welcome back to the channel. Today's battles on the mines map, and we've got Hyphen from 1AR. He's in the Iron Army. That's a uh, tier 8 premium US medium tank, which is another version of the um, Super Pershing, the T26 E4. But as you can see, it's got some spaced armor on it, or different spaced armor than the um, Super Pershing. But it's about the same speed. It's got a nice uh, alpha as well, just over 300, or around 300. And he's just coming up the middle here, trying to get some shots, but he takes a hit from a CS-52. So, not a good trade there. But now he's got a tank crossing with BZ-166, so he puts a nice shot in there. And he should get another shot in, I would think. That BZ's not quite in position yet. Yep, goes to the side. It's not quite angled enough. Alright, so now it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. Let's see if tanks can uh, make errors by poking out. Checks, seeing on the mini map there's a chaff tube for us, just checking his um, side there to make sure he's not exposed. But uh, it doesn't look like that char can reach him from there. T30 uh, is pushed out a little bit and he's starting to lose health, so he's using the dead tank there for cover, but so far nothing much. Okay, here comes the DZ again. Both bounce each other, which is nice. T30 now on 28 points, so I don't think it's going to last long. Just an HG shell will probably knock him off. And there's the BZ, it goes through the front sprocket. It only takes a big hit from the uh, BZ as well. So let's have a look. BZ firing heat, so obviously avoiding the spaced armor there. Leave them on 469, so not a lot of hit points, but um, probably stand another hit there. Not that he wants to, but he knows this is a push going on. The chaff that you for coming in at a CS52, so he turns around. Now we've also got a Cobra, so here we go. Finds the chaff that you for. Put sort of lock on. Um, seems to bounce, but uh, maybe needs to aim it a little bit better. Yep, puts a nice shot in there. Cobra fires an HG shot, and that clearly does not penetrate. Just does a very small amount of damage. Cobra can do some wicked damage if it penetrates. So, puts another shot into the char and gets a kill. So, that uh, brings him up to 1,300, just over his own hit points. So, time to do some more damage. You need to conserve your hit points a little bit at this stage. That DLC running around, he might get some more shots in him if he's going to try and come to the back where the TDs normally are. Such a small map, he will be in a view range here. Here we go. Alright, so he slows down, doesn't realise he's <laughs> a bit exposed here. He wouldn't be sitting here. Maybe he's going to try and take a shot at. Hyphen, Hyphen misses with that one. And you can see him coming around from the eel, so he just bounces off the rocks harmlessly. Can he get another shot in? See, doing a good job to jink around and avoid being hit, but uh, now he just looks like he's trying to run away and gets sent back to the garage. So, a second kill led to Hyphen. It's not got a lot of damage yet, 1770. But uh, his team's in a pretty decent position here. There are five tanks in advance. Takes another HE hit from the Cobra. But the Cobra's full health, so it's going to be a pretty dangerous tank to deal with. 
here we go. From AFL football legend Warwick Kappa comes in to see what he can do. But he's in a Panther 8, eight which is not a great uh, tank to be facing a Cobra with. But unfortunately, yeah, I have to currently push in because if the Cobra comes around, it will knock him off and then probably knock off the um, Panther. So just really needs to hold back and see what he can do. If that Cobra tries to come around, he'll put another shot into him. Panther trying to get the um, Progeno, there you go, 500 hit points lost from the Panther. Here comes a Borsig, another tank, so here we go now. Hyphen gets a chance to put some shots in. Panther's set on fire, but now he's got the back of the Cobra. Put another shot in. She can, and will he get the kill, or can... Oh, the Panther takes him out, so the hurry left. Not doing a whole lot. Alright, so... There. It's clean up time now, so there are eight tanks in advance. It's not a whole lot the enemy can do, but uh, still some high tier tanks there the Kunzer Panzer and Skoda T50. Now he's discovered Lever facing the other way, which is exactly what you want. <laughs> he puts a nice shot in just using his premium shells here. The um, Lever, of course, has got a pretty hard turret. And the Lever turns around to face him, but um, now Ryan turns a bit too far and he puts another shot in and takes him down to one shot of all. So two premium runs left. Can get the shot in. No, he's not quite one shot of all. He's got about 110 hit points left. But Typhon now 3.3k. And he gets the kill there nicely. And that wraps up the game with the Kunzer Panzer going down 3.4k quite nice total well mea culpa correction to what I described about the tank it's actually the M47 pattern improved so pattern with a spaced armor not a Pershing no, but they're both US generals so forgive me please all right so as we saw, he accumulated 3.5k of damage, a very small amount of assisted damage there, and blocked a small amount of, well, three kills, and that's given him the first class award. But let's have a look at the team performance here. All right, so he's finished on top there, 1300 base, well in front of anyone else. Um, Leopard Prototype doing over 5k there, would have picked up the high caliber award and uh, the other Leopard Proto getting just under 3k and the Borsig doing nearly 2.9k so yeah, the most outstanding players on that side and on the enemy side the CS52 um, getting the highest EXP but the Cobra doing 3.2 which uh, yeah not too bad for the Cobra but uh, nonetheless, um, Hyphen finishing out on top 1300, just missing out on Ace Tanker, I would say. So unfortunately, that's another no Ace for you <laughs> qualification. I hope you don't mind that so much, Hyphen. But uh, we certainly love your video replays. So let's have a look at the economics. If you fired 19 shots, 15 hits, and 13 pens out of that. He fired a mix of ammo, used his consumables, so he made only a small profit there of 16k or 17k. And that was with the aid of some battle payments, so actually would have made a small loss there without that. So it just shows you the worth of uh, playing in a clan, actually, and getting some additional benefits there. And if you'd used some personal reserves, that would have added a bit more as well, but uh, that wasn't necessarily the aim. Anyway, another great game there from Hyphen. He will ace these tanks one of these days. Um, I'm sure you've seen him in the poodle getting some aces, so we know he can do that. And he did finish on top there. So... Thanks very much for the replay, and thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.